so powerful that even the Echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. Bet Ciri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. The place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of survival. I know what you think, but don't worry. Ciri can take care of herself. Oh, I need magic, though. Don the mask. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Vela. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Okay, so this this happened first, and then she went to Velen, and that's how she got wounded when she went to Velen. And then she did everything in Velen, and then she went to Novigrad, and now we don't know where she is after Novigrad. Well, ready? Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Or this is the mysterious elf. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? There he is. Look at what you brought down on us. If someone's death were to help you find Siri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Ah, uh, I don't like either of these options. Because, <laughs> like... Nothing happened only because he was here to deal with it. But uh, I, yeah, I would, I would pretty much do anything for Siri. Just so happens I'm willing to do anything for some people. Everyone else, everything else be damned, is that it? Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet. But we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Went flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Good lord, this guy got annihilated! This dude was completely obliterated. Good lord. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? What? <laughs> so it's true. The Wild Hunt... I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. 
What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Siri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that I love his voice. So his voice acting. Siri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Um, I'll see you there. Mm -hmm. See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Can we talk? You were made a hierophant. Congratulations. I thank He's you. He's a hierophant. <laughs> the Skellige Circle chose. Where's Cetra? Somebody call him Cetra. At the time when the old disputes between the clans were reigniting. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things, not just trout populations and streams. We're lucky the Jarls always valued us as advisors. I really like this guy. The war. Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe... Emia's chosen a poor time to wage it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I've the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman, but a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. Oh, wow, he's actually pretty well informed. What? Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Certainly. I got my first deck, oh, years ago, back in Sintra. Proceeded to teach the game to half of Skellige. Why do you ask? Looking to play? Let's play! Yeah, glad to play around. Okay, I'm gonna use, like, a good deck for this, though. I'm not using, I'm not using a crap deck. <laughs> Holy crap, the Philippa Isleheart card, though. Damn, she's a power 10? Woo! Alright! Damn, girl! She ain't messing around. He's a Gwent master? Well, he's a druid. <laughs> Come on, if you're, if you're doing a card game, you, you gotta be a Gwent master, right? Or uh, if you're, you know. That, se that seems on par for what a druid would be up to. feel bad for y'all that are like really big fans of the books <laughs> like I do because it, it like it sounds like the books are really good and you're really passionate about it but it just really does not seem to me like the uh, 
the games reflect the books that well, like the story that's told. That's a hand right there. No, oh, he doesn't even have all the hag cards. How did I deal with the hags? Um, I haven't killed them. I don't know if that's an option. Um, but I did. I saved the Baron's wife. Uh, I saved the Baron's wife and I killed their fiend. Um, they killed the children uh, because I killed the uh, I killed the forest spirit. Um, so complicated. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a it's kind of a mix. <laughs> I hope the game gives me the ability to go back and kill them because I would very much like to. The hags are evil, and I would very, very, very much like to bury them. Wait and see is all I'll say? That's fair. Yeah, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Nobody in chat tell me. If anyone spoils it, mod nuke that comment back a century. Oh, that's a rude card to play. I wanted to go all out, but now I don't. Boy, what are you doing? Holy... Where are you? There you are! Chat! Chloe's here! I didn't even notice. She snuck in. Hold up. Gwent can hold off for a second. Chloe's here! Chloe's here! Hold on. There she is! <laughs> there she is! What are you doing, big girl? Hey! Oh, big girl. Are you sleeping? Are you just hiding back? Yes. Just hibernating behind me. Back there, huh? How long have you been back there? Notice you were. Hey. I honestly did not know she was back there until just for how long she. But you were sleeping. Go back to sleep. Alright. <laughs> okay. I should make a spoilers command? That's true, I should. There's a lot of commands I need to make. Wow, his deck was lovely. I congratulations. You've a good deck, but it could use a bit of supplementation. Here, take this card. Thanks. You've a knack for it. So much so you ought to challenge Crack. Oh, Crack does have a card gave him or a deck. deck. Introduced him to the game, but the pupil has surpassed his master. There's also Grimmest, a vile character, but undeniably... Grimmest? Dark. Oh, we got the Leshen card. Nice. Oh, the Leshen card is actually a big freaking deal for me. That's a... God, I love the Leshen card. 
Got a, so we got a big old monster. Grimace gives you the Mysterious Elf. Oh. That's good to know. Mysterious Elf is like one of the best cards. Who goes there? Whoa, it's a big foglet. Tangalore. Huh. Man, Siri unleashed a hell of a curse on this place. Like, this place just got absolutely wrecked. Alright, game. You're, you claim there's a merchant here. Oh, is it supposed to be him? No? Where? The game's like, oh yeah, there's a merchant right here. And there is most certainly not a merchant. Game lied to me. Maybe it'll be maybe someone will be there later. He's underground? I, it wasn't giving me a, it wasn't giving me a down pointed arrow, but yeah. maybe we'll bump into him later. Let's go see Brock and get his card. We did Norgan's birthday tomorrow. I'm not doing the game. Maybe a nice little axe. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Um. Wondering what difficulty am I playing on? I am playing on the triple B difficulty. It's the second highest. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm swinging it, eh? I have come to the conclusion that it's probably too easy of a difficulty for me. Um, but I intend to play through this game again one day so I can do the Yennefer route. And when I do that, I'm going to play on the highest difficulty. Wanted to talk. I know you've got a deck. Show me your deck. Pull out your deck. You ever play Gwent? Ha! Hermion taught me the rules and gave me a deck. Wish to play? Let's play a quick round. Use my big boy deck. Uh, he's using monster. Well, all the legendaries. It, wait, is there a no romance route? That's actually a thing? Does Grease's Gold Tooth control a massive area? Yes. Grease's Gold Tooth controls this, uh, a very large area. There's a route for no romance. Well, I guess we'll just have to play through the game three times. <laughs> so not, you know, not back to back to back. Um, it'll, it'll be a while before we come back to the Witcher. But that day will come. Mark my words. There's also a route if you have the stupid balls to try and romance both of them. <laughs> wow. There's a dandelion romance route? What? What? You're kidding. Oh, I want to play like the bare minimum so that I can get... I want to try and get like the super score. If I play the dragon... That would get me... 
I'm actually probably better playing, uh, better off playing the legendaries because I can't improve the power of the legendaries. Yeah, so let's do that. I'm hoping to draw something that'll let me improve or er, buff these guys. Wish I didn't have so many decoy cards. This round. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, don't play a weather card. You rude, 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 rude boy. to lure out a Scorch, because I bet he's got one. No parental... Ah! Rude? Very rude. Gotta pass the round. Oh, I don't have to pass the round. I think I've easily got him overpowered, actually, <laughs> to be honest. What do I think about the Ogres being the fifth faction and Bellicor being introduced to the Warriors of Chaos? Uh, that's not what's going to happen, I think. Uh, I think Ogres are going to be... Well, technically, they're not the fifth faction. They are the... Ogres will be the... They'll be the seventh faction, but Bellicor is going to be United Demons. I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I don't. I don't think Bellicor is. I think Bellicor is going to allow you to play demons like you would if you were playing tabletop. Because he's he's the only way they can make that work. See, told you I had him. Easy peasy. Historical fact, Greece's gold tooth is based on King Briosis from antiquity. He was the king of Lydia in 560 BC and controlled half of Anatolia. He was very wealthy and invented the standardization of gold coins. It is thought that King Midas was based on his father. Oh, that's actually Good. really cool. You know what, Wolf? I have this rare card here. Take it. It'll be of more use to you. That is Thanks. super cool. You might consider challenging a man in Kertrold, a village. A worthy adversary, though a mere tailor. Justa's his name. Justa. Oh, we got the Draug card. I love that kind of stuff, Hammond. Like, learning, learning the bits of history that Warhammer Fantasy is based on. Like, I love that shit. It's one of the most fun things to learn about Warhammer Fantasy. Did I play the blacksmith in the castle? Yeah, we played him. He wasn't, he wasn't anything particularly difficult. So, so it, does that mean it's not Grease's Gold Tooth? It's Grouse's Gold Tooth? Am I understanding that correctly? I mean, Greasus makes sense based on the way he looks and, you know, his whole personality and stuff. I love learning about the real world through fake worlds. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's so much more interesting that way. <laughs> you there! Play Gwent. The fabric's good. Greetings. Smooth seas this morn. 
as if the gods themselves were paying their respects to the great Konung Bran. You a tailor? I am. Only one in the Isles, most like. Well, look at your goods, right? Gladly look at what you got. Wise man. No common rags among oh, my wares. Oh, Thresis is pronounced like Thresis. Gotcha. Now I understand. Yeah, I, don't need, I don't need these clothes. I already have nice clothes. Heard you play Gwent? Any chance you play Gwent? Oh, I. It's a great passion. Wanna play? Yeah, let's play. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, we got the Draug, which is the, the big monster. Wow, we're actually starting to get all the legendary monsters. Very cool. But for this guy, we're going to keep smacking him around with our, our best deck. Wolverize, yeah, I, I did not have a very hard time with the tournament either. Chat, chat really talked it up. And then when we actually fought it, it was, it was all right. Um, but like, it was not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I think we actually, we lost one game to the lady that played the hardcore Nilfgaard deck. Granted, she got, <laughs> she got hilariously unlucky. Um, the AI did. Because she, uh, on the second game that we played her, she did not get a single spy card. So she just had, like, a regular hand. Which on Nilfgaard means that you're boned. <laughs> Genuine, genuinely hilarious, by the way. Have you played with the Skellige deck? No, I, I haven't even seen it yet. Uh, actually, no. Let's play the five string. You've got spies. I've got spies. Everyone's got spies. More spies. More spies. More spies. And dragon. Blah. My opponent has passed. Dead face. Damn it! I was really hoping for another um um decoy card. That's fine. Oh, we got a clear weather. Very nice. All right. This is it, chat. This is the turn where we go all out. We're going to play everything we got. So many spies. What is this? TF2? <laughs> but we got more spies, chat. We got more spies. <laughs> Infinite spies. Endless spies. The heavens will rain. A lineage of spies, the likes of which this world has never seen. I will drown this nation <laughs> beneath the network of spies that I will unleash. All shall fear me. <laughs> There is no escape. Only spies. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Oh, God. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum. What does this king do? Destroy our strongest siege units. Ugh, that's kind of annoying. Okay. But we need to try and bait that somehow. What's that, chat? More spies, you say? If you insist. <laughs> I 
will. I will conquer this world. 